These are the two largest greenhouse gas emitters in the world. These are the two largest economies in the world. Uh, without both of them engaging, there is very, very little prospect for a successful outcome. And I think what was interesting in this past year <clears throat> is an explicit recognition of the role that each side played and a desire on both sides to find common ground to move forward. That doesn't mean it was easy. It doesn't mean the relationship was not uh, affected by other non-climate related issues. Of course it was. But it does mean that in spite of that, and in spite of the difficulties in connecting this year with COVID, the sides met, the sides connected. Uh, there were a series of negotiations, most notably culminating in an agreement in Glasgow, uh, where both sides agreed on very specific actions. And they've now again met. We saw that Secretary Kerry met with, uh, with Minister Shejinwa in Davos uh, and already began moving the next stage forward. So I think that the conclusion I would reach is that this was a very constructive year, although a year that doesn't yet answer some of the difficult questions that have to be answered.